Hey guys, what's up? And this will be my video on the iPhone OS 4.0, all the new features that Apple uh, told us in the keynote on April 9, 2010. Alright, so the curtain has been pulled on the iPhone 4.0 and the new list of features is massive. There's multitasking, a refreshed interface, and literally a hundred of other changes to the iPhone software. And here is the full features uh, of every single feature for the iPhone OS 4.0. All right, so the first feature in this keynote they announced was multitasking. All right, so it's handled with a simple task switcher. Double click the home button, and then you'll get a list of running apps. You can select switch, and then you're done with, with the multitasking. Multitasking is also limited to audio because it can work with Pandora, which is a radio app on the iPhone. And for VoIP, which is Skype, uh, it works with that. So you don't even have to be running the Skype app. And then you can uh, receive calls on your iPhone. And on G GPS navigation, say you're running the TomTom Tom app. And then you uh, close out of the TomTom Tom app. And then you say you uh, open the iPod app and you play music. It will still say the directions for the place that you're going. All right, so the next feature is fast app switching. With the iPhone 4's multitasking, most apps aren't actually running in the in the background. Just certain functions of the app, like an audio steam stream or a GPS lock. But all apps can now be frozen in full. So that means you can reopen them and they're restored to exactly the same state they were when you close out of that app. The next feature in OS 4.0 is a uh, per app. Uh, SMS and alerts. Notifications can be sent from apps on the uh, iPhone and not just other remote services. All right. In other words, if something important happens in an app uh, you just opened and moved away from, a notification will pop up in whatever app you're using at that time, effectively saying switch back to me and it'll switch back to that app. It's a fairly clever way to keep track of background apps without the need for a start bar or dock type interface. The next feature is uh, folders on your iPhone. All right, so there you can finally sort your apps into folders and so uh, your home screen won't be as cluttered. You can also name the uh, folders as well as you can drag the apps into that folder. This is a lot like categories when you jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch where you can uh, organize your apps into one little fo folder. So, yeah, the next feature is a unified inbox. With a unified inbox, uh, multiple ex exchange accounts, fast inbox switching, and thread and messages. So that means if you have a mobile me email, Yahoo exchange, uh, and two other exchange accounts, you could put them in all one inbox, and then it will uh, just be like your normal uh, unified inbox. All right? so. You also have threaded messages in it, and this is uh, really a huge deal because the iPhone client has barely changed since the uh, initial release of it. All right, so the next feature in OS 4.0 is the iBook Store. Okay, so the iBooks is an ebook reader app that is sort of like the Amazon Kindle app, and accompany accompanying the store from the iPad has ambled on your ambled on down to the iPhone. So you can finally have iBooks on your iPhone now, just like the iPad does. This probably could be more successful than the iPad because many people have the iPhone already. All right, so the next thing is custom backgrounds. All right, so the iPhone, uh, the jailbroken iPhone already had custom backgrounds as well as the iPad that uh, just released has custom backgrounds. So now they are importing it to OS 4.0, all right? So now you can just choose a persistent background for your iPhone and you can set it to the lock screen as well as the background or the home screen of your iPhone or iPod Touch as well as you could set it to both. The next thing is the iPhone OS 4.0 Game Center. This is going to be a big deal to games on the iPhone, all right? So Apple's going to roll out a centralized gaming service or a multiplayer network just like PlayStation Network or the Xbox Live Network. 
This will help connect games to one another by the year, by at the end of the year. All right, so around there. So there are services that already do this, like OpenFaint, but these services probably won't be used because Apple has already recreated that, and uh, that will be great. And also with Game Center, you can, uh, there's a lot more features to it, like you can play online on your iPhone against somebody else, which is really, really cool. All right, so there, uh, so you can uh, take control of online games for app marketers rather than just pairing up with someone each game. You can uh, pair up with lots of people as well as there will be unified leaderboards and achievements. And so they are very uh, a great way to get people nice and addicted to the games. Uh, all right, so the next feature in OS 4.0 is the iAd service. This is a lot like Google AdSense, but it's mo a form of mobile advertising. It looks like uh, Apple is finally rolling out with its advertising platform, and it will have a lot of plugins for developers called the iAd. Uh, in theory, they are they are relying on links to external websites, and also Apple demoed this uh, when they opened an ad and then it went to like a little mini game. The next few features are that there will be 5x digital zoom, probably on the uh, it will probably be on the next iPhone that comes out in June, as well as tap to focus in video in when, while you record a video on your iPhone 3GS, and you can also pair up a Bluetooth keyboard that is just like on the iPad, uh, and you and here are the de i devices that will get it. When the software ships in this summer, the iPhone 3GSs and the iPod Touch third gens devices will get all the features. It's 12:30. All right, so the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G will get some things, but they won't have multitasking, which I think in my opinion isn't very good because I think the uh, iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G users should have the same features as the iPhone 3GS and iPod uh, Touch 3rd Gen. All right, so the iPhone th uh, 3G won't be getting multitasking and the iPod 2G won't have uh, multitasking. All right, so the iPad won't get the 4.0 upgrade until the fall of this year. All right, so they won't be getting the upgrade from, and fall starts from around September uh, to November and a little bit of December, so they won't getting, uh, be getting uh, all these iPhone 4.0 features until late to 2010. Alright, so thank you for watching this video of the recap of the Apple Kino of all the iPhone OS features. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and rate 5 stars. Thanks for watching.